everybody, it's Bri. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and following me on social media. If you're returning, I appreciate you checking out another video. This week I'm going to be covering the battery tender solar charger. Now this is a device I've been using for about a year now. Now battery tender makes multiple units. They make a 15 watt, a 10 watt, and a 5 watt. I've been using the 15 watt simply because I wanted to make sure I had enough power. The Ultra draws a lot of power just sitting with the alarm system. So I figured it's always better to have more than less when you need it. It also allows it to uh, collect more energy so when it goes into the shade, I'm still getting power. Now this is the, the one that I purchased. Again, it's a 15 watt to 830 milliamp tender. For $179, I don't think you can go wrong. In my situation where I store my bike in the trailer and I don't have power outside, I thought it was a great decision. Now this is a really straightforward device to use. It plugs in like any other battery tender via the uh, dongle. And it has a status light on there to show you when it's charging and versus when the uh, battery is charged. Just like your uh, standard plug-in unit, works really well. Um, it's been able to, in multiple places where I've had my bike, I've had my bike in a garage as well as the new trailer where we didn't, we don't have power to either one. And this has always kept the bike ready to go, no problems. I've been running this for at least a year and I've not run into a season where my bike wasn't charged and ready to go. So I've been very happy with this. Now here you can see it's on the roof of my trailer and it's it's just obviously doesn't get any easier as an install. I just slid it up on top of the roof of the trailer and it sits there all day collecting uh, power from the sun. Like I said, it, it's really just a great device. It's held up well in all kinds of weather. I've been very pleased with it. And... Um, you really can't ask for more. The The bike has, has definitely stayed charged. We've had zero issues with it. This is just going to be a shot of uh, basically from the overhead of the trailer. And you can see that I'm between those two trees. And even when the, the sun isn't coming in directly, it's still able to charge the tender. I'm sorry, charge the battery of the bike and keep it running. And really, you kind of can't beat it, right? It's it's free energy from the sun, and even with this small pocket of direct sun, I'm still able to keep the bike charged. I thought it was a great solution if you have a trailer and you don't have uh, power available to you. To run it, all I did was drill a small hole in the floor of the trailer and ran the uh, cable with an extender to it. The Ultra has the dongle built in already, but if you have a bike, more than likely you already have a tender setup or at least a tender cable. Really straightforward. Just run it in, you plug it in when you park it, and off it goes. So thanks for watching. This has been pretty much a uh, quick video, a lot shorter than my normal videos, but I appreciate you stopping by and watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.